Here's what you need to know to start your day. Chico police are still on the hunt for two suspects who escaped into a North Chico orchard. Officers say the chase started when they tried to pull over a car that looked similar to one seen at the scene of a shooting, which had happened a short time earlier, around 9:30, and that was near Palm Avenue and East 10th Avenue. We are following the latest on both incidents. Chico police are also investigating after a late night shooting left one man injured. This is the incident we are talking about. 9:30, it happened near the intersection of Palm Avenue and East 10th Avenue, and then an hour later, a 24-year-old man walked to en or walked into Enlo Medical Center with a gunshot wound, and he is expected to be okay. If you know anything about either of these incidents, police want to hear from you. It is the first official day of school for students on the ridge, and many are returning despite being displaced by the campfire. Administrators say today will be a shortened day for students in Paradise. They will attend school from 8.30 to 12.44, and they will also attend a back-to-school rally in the gym. Paradise students aren't the only ones heading back to classes. Chico Unified School District is kicking off the school year as well. The district is welcoming about 300 more students this year than last fall. The surge in student population following the campfire is continuing as many families have found permanent homes in Chico. And with so many youngsters returning to school, that of course means that all of us, the adults, we need to pay extra attention out on the roadways this morning. So there is a traffic reminder. School zone speed limits are 25 miles an hour. Slow it down. Give yourselves plenty of time to get where you're going. And be aware that there are plenty of additional kids out there. And also obey school bus stop signs. Well, several lightning fires are still burning this morning in the Shasta Trinity National Forest. This view is of the Trinity Fire captured Wednesday through a Cobra helicopter infrared camera and firefighters say lightning last weekend sparked nearly 30 fires. At this point, just three small fires continue to burn. A long standoff in Philadelphia ended late last night after a suspect accused of shooting six police officers surrendered. All of those officers have been released from the hospital. An attorney says his former client, 36-year-old Maurice Hill, is the suspect. And breaking news just in, stocks rose this morning due to signs of positive spending by U.S. consumers. The Dow gained 100 points already today, and that a day after dropping 800. Wednesday's sharp decline caused concerns for investors, but this morning's report shows a stronger-than-expected start and retail sales.